become a professional basketballer, you have to work really, really hard over so many years. Every single day, you need to come in and you need to try and become as best as you can be. Um, and when you're a professional, coaches always talk about winning, winning games, winning championships. But in life, that's not always the most important thing. What I've found is more important than anything is making sure that you play the game and you act in your everyday life with respect. Respect is so important. And I remember when I was uh, a young kid, uh, I saw a clip of a player called Paolo Di Canio playing football. And one of the opposition players got injured, fell over, was clutching their ankle. Someone crossed the ball in to Di Canio, and instead of shooting and trying to score a goal and win the game and make more money, he decided to catch the ball and go back and check if the player was okay. And I just thought that was so amazing that someone in such an important position in sport would have that amount of respect for another t uh, player on a different team who was injured that he would not, not, you know, not try and score. That's how important respect is. And if you talk to anyone who's really successful, they'll tell you that first and foremost, for anyone that they're going to hire or whatever, it's always going to be about respect. With the score one all, with just a couple of minutes left, he surprised everyone. West Ham were chasing Europe at the time, and his manager Harry Redknapp said he didn't know whether to kiss him or kill him. Respect is very important in a game of basketball because you have to have respect the coaches, the officials, the opposing teammates, and your teammates as well. I had to respect on a daily basis through my current coach Chris Bunton who gave me opportunities as a developing player when I was younger. And right now I see him give those opportunities to younger players also, coming through the programme and he helps them develop to the players that they want to be.